Thanks, Graham, for joining us again for another edition of What the Stewards Saw. Where's your Amanda? This week has been a bit of a busy week for stewards across New South Wales. Uh, the first topic I wanted to talk to you about is that um, drivers' vests have been uh, been of interest, particularly this week. Yeah, disappointing, Amanda, from my perspective. Um, on Tuesday at Menangle, uh, stewards uncovered uh, uh, two drivers wearing a vest which weren't approved um, and had been modified. And uh, those drivers were uh, Blake Fitzpatrick and uh, Todd McCarthy. And I guess uh, it's sort of it's at the heart of the culture or, or the attitude of some people in the industry that uh, both in Victoria and New South Wales and probably in other states, but certainly in those two states, I'm aware that stewards have been quite active in, in their policing of the requirements under the rules. And in Mr Fitzpatrick's case in particular, there were a number of previous breaches and that's uh, eventuated yesterday in a penalty of a suspension of licence to drive in races for a period of four months. Uh, it's a considerable penalty, uh, but uh, unfortunately uh, the stewards, I guess, are frustrated as to how they, uh, they actually grabbed Mr Fitzpatrick's attention. The other driver was Todd McCarthy, who's arguably our leading driver in New South Wales at the present time, and although his modification uh, was, uh, one might say, of a small nature, nevertheless it would impact on the integrity of the vest if he was involved in an incident. And to think that uh, stewards have got to expend uh, effort in, uh, on race day when they've got other things to do, uh, to check on whether or not drivers are complying with the rules, particularly in relation to their own safety, uh, is quite frankly uh, hard to fathom. Mm. Well, thank you for that. Um, also, I noticed on the weekend, stewards finalised an inquiry into comments made by a licensed trainer on social media. Yeah, look, Mr Francis uh, has had a horse, uh, Karinga's Delight, I think is the name of the horse. Um, it raced at Newcastle on the 9th of July, ran uh, a good race behind Miss Riviera Bell, and the race was run in 52.5, I think, from memory. And uh, the horse fronted again on the uh, Monday, on the 11th, and uh, ran another good race. Uh, was driven consistently. The stewards uh, didn't see reason to um, inquire into elements of the drive or the performance. But it was brought to our attention that the following morning there was a comment made in response to other people who uh, were satisfied that Mr Francis doesn't have an ongoing relationship. He may well know of the people. Uh, but it was a, uh, a perhaps an off-the-cuff uh, response that uh, uh, he had uh, responded to the effect that uh, he wasn't going to uh, uh, bust, for want of a better expression, Coringa's delight uh, in a uh, in a poor quality race, referring to the Monday race. And we felt that that was detrimental to the image of harness racing and not the messages that we want to see out there representing harness racing. Uh, Mr Francis pleaded guilty to a charge of that nature and was uh, fined the sum of $1,500, of which $750 was suspended on the basis that he not re-offend in the next 12 months. So there's a penalty, immediate penalty of, in effect on Mr Francis of a fine of $750. Okay. Uh, also this week, Graham, um, trainer Belinda McCarthy was stood down after a horse that was trained in her name, Vinnie Chase, was found to have a prohibited substance in its system. Yes, Harness Racing New South Wales have uh, put out a, a media release in respect to this matter. Um, the horse in question returned a, uh, a positive test to the substances bold and known nandrolone in, in one or two metabolites uh, which eventuate from those substances. Uh, Mrs McCarthy was advised. Um, she was given the option to respond to stewards in respect to being stood down pending the outcome of an inquiry. Subsequently there were submissions made in that regards which uh, uh, were provided by her and uh, subsequently she was stood down from training until the outcome of that inquiry. Uh, that inquiry is ongoing. Uh, and uh, in respect of the uh, transfer of uh, the possible transfer of any horses uh, in the McCarthy stable at present, there is a policy of harness racing New South Wales, and any submissions from owners would be considered uh, by the board on merit. Okay, thanks for that, Graham. Uh, also, well, the main meeting uh, in New South Wales. Over, over the last week was obviously at Tabcourt Park Menangle on Saturday night and there was a few instances. Um, here we'll just start off with race one, Graham. 
Um, was there much to report in this race? It was won by Stormont Tsar. Not really. It was a, uh, I guess, the, the drive uh, of Robert Morris summed the speed of the race up. Um, he put the horse into the race, and, and ultimately that was a winning, a winning move. Um, basically, there was nothing else to report out of the race, Amanda. Okay, race two. A couple of unlucky runners. Here. Yeah, we did report that Monavay, No Apache, Me, and Courtney John uh, were held up at various stages of the straight, and particularly No Apache, Me was untested uh, in running to the line of horse uh, that Mr. Binskin hasn't had long from New Zealand, and uh, Courtney John was also not fully tested. But uh, again, the uh, the horse that won Aztec Bromax sustained a long run from back in the field. Okay, uh, race three, not much to report on, so we'll skip to race four, and there was a bit of a chain reaction in this race with a couple of horses being checked. Yeah, it probably adds merit to the performance of Coldplay Road, Amanda, that in the vicinity of the 500 metres, uh, Mr Purcell driving Isaacs uh, had uh, elected to shift out away from the uh, marker line, and in doing so, got onto the back, uh, ultimately, of He's a Dude, which was coming back in his lap, uh, and uh, he shifted away from that runner and uh, made quite heavy contact with Coldplay Road, which uh, uh, galloped uh, for a brief period. So fr from our perspective, uh, uh, we found that Mr Isaac was uh, guilty of a charge under uh, carelessness, uh, 1681A, and he was uh, suspended from driving for a period of 14 days. Uh, we did uh, give Mr Purcell a full acknowledgement of his entitlement uh, as far as his record was concerned, but the stewards uh, did uh, add to the penalty on the basis that, the, in our view, the degree of carelessness was quite high, and certainly the consequences to Coldplay Road, which finished off its race in, in quite uh, a genuine fashion, considering the interference, uh, meant that uh, we added seven days to what otherwise might have been a seven-day penalty. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll go straight to the, the feature race of the night, the Group 3 in Race 7. Uh, and there are a couple of incidents in this race, including uh, Miss Artistic Tara, which bled. Yeah, my Artistic Tara suffered a bilateral bleeding attack under the rules and has now been stood down for a period of three months, requires a veterinary certificate and a trial before it races again. Um, we have adjourned an inquiry into aspects of that matter, um, partly because we wish to investigate the CCTV footage uh, of uh, areas of Tapcourt Park Menangle and uh, also because Mr Hayes, the trainer of uh, my artistic Tara, had left the course. So that's a matter that's adjourned. We did also ask uh, Mr Binskin, the trainer of Tack Haley's delight just in respect to what looked to be an apparent improvement uh, by that horse. I mean, you wouldn't have to go back too far in Tack Haley's uh, delight's form to find it running very good races in very similar form. Uh, but uh, of last couple of starts have probably been fractionally below par. Mr Binskin put it down to the fact that three starts ago the horse uh, had a stone uh, injury, an eye injury resulting from stones on the track uh, and he felt that the horse basically just needed a couple of runs to gain its, con its confidence again and uh, Saturday night was the real tactile's delight. So uh, we've uh, told Mr Binskin that we'd report that explanation. Okay, Graham, anything to report out of the Trotters race in the last? No, not really. Uh, Gaius sees are probably uh, the only point of interest. Uh, I guess everybody's interested in the horse because he's a previously been a quality pacer, but uh, he raced very roughly on the far turn uh, coming from the 600 metres and then did power home quite strongly in the straight. Okay, all right. Thank you for your time. Pleasure, Amanda. And we'll join you again next week. Thank you.